Okay guys, I want to show you some tips and tricks regarding how you would use Samplist in a, in a audio bus environment. So right now, as you can see here, I have a Samplist connected to Crystalline and then to audio bus out. And then I also have Blockswave in the background for the beat. So going back to Samplist, we have six pre-made slices, um, which I did before the video which sound kind of like this. And I can also play them via MIDI. Like this. Um, what One cool thing you can do is, uh, if you tap the slices, uh, it updates this selector with the current slice, but if you tap it, you have edit all slices. What this does is it enables you to alter each and every one of the slices with a, with a cut-up resonance and stuff like that. So right now uh, I can play the slices. And as you can see, they're all affected by the, the filter settings. Um, also, let me enable choke here so they cut off each other also one thing you might not re not notice from the beginning is that here you have another page of controls you can uh, use the pitch shifter to transpose the whole sample and also uh, let me choose a longer part uh, so let's say slice 7 and you can do this kind of thing uh, one second, one second, so we will play chromatically. And it preserves the, the sample's tempo. Um, if you modify the glide setting, you get this kind of effect. It probably sounds crappy, but what the heck, you can use it for something, I guess. Also, one thing also one thing which might not be intuitive from the start is that if you hold the slice, you have this delete button, so you can delete individual slices also, you don't need to click clear all, all the time. Um, but um, now let's go for something fun. So let's... Uh, Start this uh, bit. Uh, also, um, if we enable crystalline, we get this. Okay, enough fun. <laughs> also, one cool thing you can do with uh, Samplist is uh, you can get all these cool slices and hit tools and export slices. And what this does is it creates a zip file with all the slices so you can open them in like any other app which supports importing zip files, which is kind of cool. Or you can save the files. Uh, but at this moment, even if you don't do anything, uh, the slices are 
nicely exported in um, in the files app. So uh, samplist has uh, has its own app folder which contains samples and exports. Right now in exports you can see the um, uh, the samplist um, sample zip with uh, with the slices. And if we go into the zip, we can. Uh, we can see all the slices here, nicely renamed. So it contains the um, uh, app name, the sample name, and the number of slices, which is kind of cool. Um, also, if we go back here in the samples folder, uh, you can directly delete the samples from here or from within the app. And when you tap Save Preset, it saves um, a JSON file with the uh, slice ranges. So basically, uh, whenever you load a new sample into the app, it checks if there's a JSON file with the same name. So it loads the slices from there. Um, I got an idea from an audio bus buddy, which, which said that he would like to save different presets for the same sample, so I might have a look on that. So you basically have these different slice configurations for, for a single sample. I think that would be cool. Uh, right now the JSON file doesn't contain anything but the slice ranges, so right now it doesn't save the filter settings per slice. I will do that, because uh, I think it's important. You can also select one slice, so if, for instance, this sample would be like one minute long, you can focus on a single uh, bar and hit Tools button, Trim as a new sample, and what you get is what you expect to get as a new sample, uh, which is saved separately. And um, yeah, you can also share this, so if you click Share Sample, it shares this current loaded sample as a separate file, so you can import it to whatever you want. Um, and that's about 